Well, we got a new project, unfortunately. I didn't really need another project, as you've seen on the channel here. We've got plenty of them. So what we've got here is a late style B. You can see the square axle tubes, the stamped frame. Really uh, not much good to talk about here. All right, so the issues it has are uh, pretty much all the sheet metal is destroyed. So it's been smashed into oblivion. I don't know if a tree hit it or exactly what happened, but you can see the uh, air intake's all smashed up, the whole top of the hood's smashed up. Uh, the grill is sitting over there by the shed. It's all smashed up. Um, it's got excessively screwed up clutch so pop it out the clutch itself has got yeah. the clutch itself has got probably a quarter of an inch of play and then there's probably another quarter of an inch of crank thrust in it It's got completely destroyed tires, which, I mean, this one's okay. It's got a lot of tread in it, but it's really dry rotted. This side is two sizes bigger and completely bald. I've never seen a rim do this. The rim is rotted out in the bead, not at the valve stem hole. The rim's rotted out in the bead and solid everywhere else. On top of the sheet metal being completely beat up, it's also rusted out. Kind of not so nice there. Um, really not sure what we're going to do here. I don't know if this is a parts tractor or if this is fixable. One problem with guys, it's got a got a crack in the radiator core. As you can even see through daylight through it there. But so we're going to need at least a core, if not a whole radiator. We've got no drawbar battery box is completely destroyed just rotted completely out and it's the seat frame which it's not too bad it's probably fixable it's got got a kink in it right there which we could straighten that i don't know if it's really worth straightening it but it could be fixed there's a the driver's side grill she's uh well worn Side's actually pretty nice. I'm not really sure how this side of the grill survived as it falls over. I'm not really sure how this side of the grill survived and the rest of it's destroyed. It is busted right there. Then the, the nose cap is definitely saveable. We got one ding and it's cracked there, but that's not that big a deal. We can fix that. It's a rollomatic. So we got suspension. And then it is a power troll, so we got that going for us. I'm kind of suspicious of what's going on here because that looks like it's never been off the tractor and that looks like it's been off the tractor recently. But we got that, I guess. Uh, we got the remnants of the little PTO deal that covers the PTO shaft. So we're gonna need grill, hood, air intake, exhaust, radiator, tires all the way around battery box seat frame uh probably missing some stuff already oh clutch um yeah so i don't really know oh steering wheel that's 10 i don't know i don't know what to do with it i mean i'm sure it's got plenty of good parts to give but I don't know if I should find one that's stuck. I don't know if I should, and one that's stuck has got good metal on it, and we could just swap all the metal over to this one. I don't know if I should try to piece it together. Uh, kind of, I have no idea. 
Yeah, the only redeeming factor about this tractor, we are in neutral here. This transmission is kind of funky, but it is in neutral. Watch this. Oh yeah, I forgot we got we got no charging system at all. I don't know about all this. Not really up to perfect standards. And the upper upper water housing here has been off and it's been glued back on. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see this. It's pretty faint. Uh Yeah, there it is. So you got two, eight, four, oh, six, six. That puts us right square in the middle of 1951. So we're right up towards the end of the B production. I think they end at like 290 something, 298, 310. No, I think it's 310. So yeah, she's uh, she's right there at the end. Something looks a little off here. I'd say whatever bent that wheel, bent the steering column, and it's been heated up and straightened. That doesn't really explain the wear mark right there, because that would indicate that the steering shaft has gone uphill. Which, actually, that might make sense, because once in a while the fan hits the radiator. I bet the whole thing's kind of shifted that direction. I wonder if it's bent.